Hi. Firewall is a network security device which is deployed between networks which have different security requirements. In this video I will discuss uh, five deployment architecture in which a firewall can be deployed. So let's start. So I will be discussing the single tier architecture then two tier architectures that is two tier one and two tier two and then three tier architectures that is three tier one and three tier two. So in single tier architecture the organization has a single uh, network and in two tier architectures organization have two networks and in three tier architectures organization has deployed three networks excluding the internet. So in all of these five uh, deployment architectures there is one thing common that we have an internet and then a router which connects an organization to the internet and then there is a security device that is the firewall. So behind the firewall an organization has deployed a single network or two networks or three networks depending upon the requirements. So in single tier architecture uh, the organization has deployed a single private network which have the sensitive systems and the firewall provides security to the private network from the internet. And in two tier architecture we again uh, have a private network but in addition to that we have a demilitarized zone. So in demilitarized zone we have deployed the public facing servers for example your web server, your proxy server or maybe your DNS or domain name server. So this DMZ or demilitarized zone provides an additional layer to the private network. So in two tier one architecture the private network is logically behind the demilitarized zone. So this is a single firewall. So one interface of this firewall is connected to the DMZ and second interface is connected uh, to the private network. So the traffic from the internet first comes to the DMZ and then it can go towards private network depending upon uh, the requirements. So there are more strict rules implemented on the interface which is connected to the private network. So in two, uh, two tier two architecture again we have uh, two networks that is the DMZ and the private network but in this case the DMZ is physically ahead of private network by deploying an additional firewall. So in two tier one architecture the DMZ was logically providing protection to the private network but in two tier two architecture we have uh, deployed a physical firewall device. So there are less strict rule on the firewall which is deployed between router and the DMZ and uh, there are more strict rules on the firewall which is deployed between DMZ and the private network. So in three tier architecture we have again the same DMZ and the private network but we have an additional network that is a transaction network. So the transaction network has the sporting services or servers which are required by the DMZ servers. So we have deployed two firewalls between all of these three networks. So here you can see that in two tier architectures we have two networks and in three tier architecture we have three networks and in single tier architecture we have a single network. 
So in three tier architecture that is type two, uh, again we have the same three networks, but in this case, instead of deploying two firewalls, we have only deployed a single firewall. So this DMZ is providing logical protection uh, to the transactional and private network. Now the DMZ uh, is also sometimes called screened subnet because it provides protection to the internal or the private networks and it is screening the traffic which is going towards private network. And there is also a term of bastion host. So this bastion host is uh, deployed in this DMZ and all the traffic which comes from the internet first goes to the bastion host and this bastion host is hardened enough by removing unnecessary services. So this is this kind of a first uh, layer of protection. So this bastion host uh, can be a proxy server which is deployed in the DMZ. Now this DMZ uh, is sometimes also called extra net and this extra net uh, term relates uh, to the partners to which uh, your organization provides services. So we can deploy multiple uh, DMZs, one for the journal public and one DMZ can host the services which are required by your partners. So in this case, if the public server uh, gets hacked uh, since it is exposed on the internet, then the services which are uh, which you offer to your partner are still protected in an another DMZ since it is a separate network. So this was all from my side. Please stay connected. Thank you.